My name is Janet McIntyre. I reside in Butler County, Clinical Nursing Township, Evans City, PA. I'm here to speak to you about the air quality at my home. Even though I have very serious issues with my water well that is contaminated. My water well is contaminated with tooling three times the level. Chloromethane, seven times the level. T-butyl alcohol, five times the level. In January 2001, Rex Energy began fracking a Marcella shell near my home. This is when my nightmare began and, I and it had turned my world upside down. Rex Energy and the DEP came to do the testing <clears throat> because my water foamed and we became very ill after drinking it. In February 2011, I had asked Rex Energy and the DEP if they could smell that terrible smell. Their response on several occasions was, no, no, sorry, we can't smell anything. Although from 2000, February 2011 to the present, if I spend more than five to 10 minutes outside my home, I get a severe headache, lightheaded, burning eyes and skin, sore throat, and a metallic taste in my mouth and on my lips. The strange thing about this is, it's not just me. It happens to everyone who comes to my home. They are experiencing the same symptoms also. I can't seem to understand why it is that Rex Energy nor the DEP experience anything. Their response is, if I'm having an issue with my hair, maybe I should just stay inside my home. In January 2001, Rex Energy began fracking a Marcella shell near my home. This is when my nightmare began and, I and it had turned my world upside down. Rex Energy and the DEP came to do the testing <clears throat> because my water foamed and we became very ill after drinking it. In February 2011, I had asked Rex Energy and the DEP if they could smell that terrible smell. Their response on several occasions was, no, no, sorry, we can't smell anything. Although from 2000, February 2011 to the present, if I spend more than five to 10 minutes outside my home, I get a severe headache, lightheaded, burning eyes and skin, sore throat, and a metallic taste in my mouth and on my lips. The strange thing about this is, it's not just me. It happens to everyone who comes to my home. They are experiencing the same symptoms also. I can't seem to understand why it is that Rex Energy nor the DEP experience anything. Their response is, if I'm having an issue with my hair, maybe I should just stay inside my home. Oh. This coming from the DEP, who also said, my water smelled bad because slugs, and I mean slugs, tend to crawl up your water roll casing and fall inside. Rex Energy, you know those good neighbors? Have not only contaminated my land, my water well, and now my air. What's next? And how much more can I afford to get? I ask. Then if, when a friend of mine, which is Kim, decided to walk door to door asking everyone if they were having issues with their air or water. God forbid the DEP wouldn't do it. They told me that no one else has a problem, Mrs. McIntyre. It's just I quickly learned they were given the same excuses as I have, been, have gotten. They're running out of excuses to tell us, and they have begun to repeat themselves, I found. At this point, I have come to the conclusion that those good neighbors, so to speak, and our friends, or too many to mention, are liars, cheaters, thieves, and takers. 
They have taken what is mine, and I want it back. Someone needs to make Rex Energy and the DEP accountable for their actions. Well, we become infected in January of this year. We were all sick. Projectile vomiting, diarrhea. Uh, my children get their water at my house. Their children were sick. Their children had projectile vomiting, and their children had diarrhea. My husband had got up in the middle of the night. I had asked him to please just get me a drink of water. We didn't know that we were drinking contaminated water. My husband turned on the water spigot and only foam come up. He said, honey, this is what, our water is contaminated. This is what's wrong with us. I said, no, just give me a drink in the bathroom. I just drink water. We went to the bathroom and we turned on the spigot. And once again, so we immediately stopped working the water. Someone brought us a bottle of water. And I looked in the sink. In the sink, you see, in the bottom of this bowl is where my water dripped into this bowl. We didn't realize it. We were drinking out of colored cups. The water was purple. And once again in Jan July of this year, boom, coming from my spigots that the DEP and Rex Energy said that it was safe to drink. <coughs> this is what happened to my bowls in January, July 2011. They were inside the sink. They don't understand. They don't understand. And there's so many people out there that have problems inside our township that we are trying to help. But the only way that we can help them is for them to help themselves. We can't do it for them. And my biggest fear is when they do realize that their water is contaminated, they're going to be looking for those two little women <laughs> that was knocking on everyone's door. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.